Morning. Morning. Happy Saturday. We have been done our exercise already. We have dandy the park, park run. run. I've, I think I've done five or six now. Yeah, it's the first one for a couple of weeks though, wasn't it? Yeah, because it rained last week. <laughs> <laughs> I went for a walk. We've had showers, brekkie, and today. Today is job day. So we are going away on a really exciting drive holiday to Queensland on Wednesday and it's Saturday yeah. today. And we have an incredibly long <laughs> list of jobs that we need to get done. So we thought we would see how many we can get done today. I think there's how two, many is there? Four, six, eight, and ten, twelve. I'm guessing we're gonna, you know, start off well 17. and then peter out in the afternoon. There's 17. <laughs> Some of them are things like me get my hair cut, yeah. um, do the cans, so we do like a return and earn in New mm -hmm. South Wales. So there's a few um, jobs that are gonna take a little bit longer and some that are gonna be super quick, but yeah. we'll see how many we get done. I'm so going, yeah. I reckon we'll get 15 done. Really? Big call. Very big. Okay, let's go. I was just going to quickly say we have talked before on another vlog about how we were going to frost these our window in our dining room because our neighbor's house is literally what about <laughs> just over a meter away it's very close and when they walk past here they're right there so we did this with a little like film from Bunnings and I, we are honestly so impressed with how well it turned out so we can have the blind up now we just used to never have the blind up in there before because it was like um if our neighbors walked past they also would look directly kind of into our bathroom anyway so now we have the window in our living room you can see that's their front door <laughs> right there so we're probably going to do the bottom of this one and see how we go and we're also going to tackle the kitchen so that's one of the jobs on today's list so job one sort out the bins we've got yeah. some leftover green material from when they cut a lot of yeah, the right. um, trees down and delivery boxes we never have enough room to put the <laughs> debris so down. they're going to be broken down and all of that let's do that second job done the bins or well, the bin area the bins were fine they just needed things in them <laughs> front yard weeding done this was not on the list but scout wanted to come outside because we were out here of course scouty we're done Present for my best mate who just got a job at Costco. <laughs> Need some ice bricks in the freezer for our holiday. So the next job is to mount the GoPro on the dashboard because we're going to be doing a lot of driving and we want to be able to have it like facing us but also facing the road so we can do some kind of um, footage of the road we have this little mount it goes on here just kind of clips on like that and clips off and i should be able to do it either way so i want to stick this this has just got like a peel 3m on here somewhere but we've got to kind of figure out the best spot to do it so i can't really find a good spot because of this kind of screen mm, um, it sticks up yeah so one like a spot to film the front would be fine yeah. um but then the other way it gets too much of this kind of stick up screen thing what about um, up here or something like is there any way up there it would be upside down okay true on you can flip it like in editing it's not upside down either though, but it's copying all of mm. that. I mean, I think that's going to be yeah. pretty, 
pretty good. Yeah. What do you think? Yep. Yeah. And that's right, right? Like, that's not upside down. No. Well, I can always flip it anyway. It's okay. Not, it's not a drama. Okay. 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 GoPro mount. Done. Just one incident. Who let Erica touch it? <laughs> How are we going there? It was a fail. It, it was almost there. The problem with this thing is you cut it and it tells you to have like a little bit of an overhang, which is good because it allows for like room to move an error. But then you've got to cut it bang on. And if you have the tiniest little overhang, it creates an air bubble. And I was just having nothing but problems. And then when you cut it, then it looks not messy nice yeah so um it was probably not the best job to do late in the day we should have done it first thing this morning <laughs> so this job is going to get left and i'll do it tomorrow it's not urgent we it's can not also urgent. do it when we come back yeah it's not urgent at all so for dinner i am making smash burgers and i just used our mandolin which is kind of like the safer style I'll just show you so it's just this and it's got a little cover on it so that I can cut the onions and I'll show you so I cut four small onions in like less than a minute um, nice and thin so that's two slices there very very thin and I'm just going to cook those on the stove top so I'm just going to cook those on the stovetop slowly to kind of caramelize them and they will go on our burgers. And I probably won't use all four. I'll just um, have some left over for my breakfast or something. We are also going to my sister's place for lunch tomorrow with my family. And we're in charge of bringing chicken and vegetable soup. So I'm probably going to make the soup tomorrow morning, but there's a lot of fine chopping involved so i'm just going to start doing that now so i've got a leek a carrot some celery and some onion so i'm just going to dice all this up now and then pop it in a container in the fridge so then tomorrow it'll make the making of the soup much quicker so while erica's chopping away um, for her soup i thought i would just um show you a product that we got sent after we did a video quite a while ago so we did I think it was nearly two years ago so we did a chocolate low carb chocolate video about two years ago and we reviewed a whole bunch of different low carb chocolates and we tried this company called peak chocolate and we didn't give it a very good review we always give honest reviews um, and they got in contact with us a couple of weeks ago I watched it and we were kind of like it's very healthy tasty <laughs> So, we got some more scent because they've reformulated the um, recipe yeah. and they really wanted us to try it again. So, we thought we would give them another try. So, the idea of this chocolate, the company is called Peak Chocolate and it's kind of like performance chocolate. So, the idea is that it has some stuff in it to improve a certain thing so I've, we've got three different ones and the, this yellow one is focus so it's got green tea and it says contains caffeine and l-theanine for clear focused energy it's got triazine produces thoughtful chemicals including dopamine and b vitamins work together with your body to help convert food to energy so this is the focus one Really? We should have had this this morning. Yeah, well, I might have been able to um, put on those, those windows. Up. Put on those windows. So it's pretty dark. It's got three things across. I'll just snap one little bit off, and Erica and I can try a little bit each. Ooh, it's hard. It's got a good snap to it. The flavour is fine. It's it doesn't have a... It's dark, but it's still quite sweet. Mm. 
It doesn't have a it taste like the coffee or the extra bits. No. Hmm, I think that's a nice dark chocolate and I guess the texture of it makes it seem not like that healthy. Yeah, kind of that's chocolate. soft. You know what I mean? Kind of that panna chocolate. We don't tend to like that, mm. but this is okay. This no, is all, this is nice. nice. Less than 0.1 gram of sugar. Wow. So what's it sweetened with? Just oh my god. Okay, there's, there's a, a lot of ingredients. A lot of ingredients and very small. <laughs> I'm too old for that. <laughs> oh, it's not. It just looks bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sweetener is mouth to Oh, interesting choice. So, so interesting for like a not healthy chocolate, but like they're obviously going down a. I mean, I'm happy with the flavour of it. Yep, the flavour. I guess you'd have to eat what it, what's a serve of that block, just like as far as getting there's the four serves, getting the benefit. Do you know what I mean? Yep. So there's four serves. Right. Four serves per pack, 80 grams. Hmm. Four serve pack, so 20 grams is a serve. I mean, well, flavour wise, I think it's a nice dark chocolate. It's not too bitter, like it's it's sweet enough to me to taste like chocolate. The other one, so there's three. The second one is Peak, so it's got whey protein, curbs hunger and supports strength. Two, clean caffeine from Guarana. The same amount as a shot of espresso. And three, it's got taurine, fatigue busting, increases alertness and endurance. I know that we used to get a lot of questions about taurine. We used to get a lot of questions about taurine for our cats because we feed oh, them yeah, a raw food diet. Yes, they are supposed to have that's something that they kind of need supplemented, isn't it? Because they don't kind of get it naturally, easily. I'm not sure that there's a difference in the flavour, or oh, not that there needs to be, because you're not choosing it for the flavour profile. No, you're choosing, you're it, choosing for... it for the. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. I can't find the right word for them, but mm. like the, for the, the particular the performance. Kind of. Yeah, and the third one. We probably don't need to try. We it. won't, but I'll just explain what I it is. So it's item. rest. Mm. I mean, I think flavour-wise, looks nice to me. It says relax and recover when it's time to switch off. Drift into a sleep following mm. a nightly indulgence of delicious dark chocolate, gently infused with the Peak Rest Special Supplement Blend. Supplement was the word I was looking yes. for. Yes. Right. Magnesium and zinc. This chilled couple will work together for a great night's rest. Mm. Chamomile, real flower power, used for centuries to smooth, soothe, and relax. And L-tryptophan. Tryptophan. Tryptophan. Yep. Yeah. Um, an essential amino acid may enhance sleep and mood. So, yeah, I mean, I guess it'd just be up to you to try them and see if you notice the benefits. Yeah. But taste-wise, it's a nice dark chocolate to me. If you're looking for a chocolate that um, you want to get gives more you, out of. Gives you more benefits. I don't know. Performance chocolate. I'm looking more for just a chocolate hit, but... Um, <laughs> They're peak chocolate. I'm assuming that you can buy them online and you might want to check low carb emporium. Um, but yeah, they've nice. definitely improved it's nice on what they have. It's nice they acknowledge the feedback mm. as well, even though it wasn't like we were, I mean, it wasn't bad, but we were kind of like, meh. So, do you need some focus to keep chocolate here? <laughs> definitely, if it's chocolate focus. Okay, veggies are all cut up. And that will make the soup much quicker to come together tomorrow morning. So we got these um, beef burgers in a beef box delivery that we were getting a while ago. And they've been in the freezer for ages. What I'm going to do is mix them up and I'm going to make three. Because these are 150 and I want 100 gram um, patties for this. So this is the first time I've done smash burgers so it's kind of a bit of an experiment. Um, and a learning process. So I've got the barbecue on, just waiting for it to come up to temperature, and then we will smash some burgers. How good does the barbecue area look? I'm pretty happy. Look. 
and a little plant from a couple of weeks ago going well in there. The middle one hasn't fared too well, but the other two look all right. So this is the tool I bought to smash them. So <laughs> I haven't used it yet. Let's see built how we go. We'll do two. Them. I want to get them really thin. Yeah, that's what I want. I'm just going to put a little bit of our simple seasoning on them. And we'll let those cook for three minutes, four minutes maybe, and then I'll flip them over and we'll put the cheese on top. So we have the um, door to the kitchen closed so we can be out here with the doors open and easily coming in and out and I'll show you what we've got on the other side. Double decker. Look at them. Like we can't, we can't get them out here when we want to get them out here. So that's been four minutes. They've shrunk a lot as well, would you say? But yeah. that's exactly what I'm looking for. Nice and Caramelized. A lot of fat comes out of these burgers. Cheese on. There we go, and we'll just go now till that cheese melts. Okay, so this is Dan's. She's doing sauce, onions, pickles. No vegetables, she said. I've got lettuce, tomato, onions, and pickles. And I'm gonna have one patty. Dan's going to go double. They do, they look very cute. I'm very impressed. <laughs> now, wow. the moment of truth. I'm a big fan of the double patty. <laughs> That is the best. Yeah? Yeah. What's good about it? It's juicy, but the meat's not dry. Mm -hmm. So even though you're cooking it so thin, mm -hmm. it's still like yeah. really juicy. The cheese is delicious. The condiments Erica is bang on with. <laughs> I'm gonna go and enjoy my burger and then we'll finalize our never ending list. <laughs> And the final job we are doing today, we have just remade the bed after washing the sheets. Does everyone agree? It's a super annoying job. Well, it's just an all day job. Yeah, that's true. Because you're always like, because we wash the mattress protector and the blanket. So it was a lot of washing and drying, but it is done. And tonight we'll be very grateful when we get into our nice clean bed. And the cats have been most distressed about not being in here all day because we don't want them, you know, on our bare mattress. <laughs> Heaven forbid. Okay, so things that we can tick off. Film the vlog. Done. <laughs> Wash the sheets. Done. So what is left is frosting the windows. Attempted. Moved on. <laughs> Proper clean the floor. Like Which... We, we do properly clean our floor most of the time. It doesn't need to say properly clean the floor. <laughs> but I'm going to wait until the cats go to my mum's on Tuesday yeah. and then I'll do it then. It'll be just be easier. Yeah. The last one is shave legs because we are really bad. I did mine last night so I can tick mine. Erica has not done hers yet. The thing is we, we were pants. wearing shorts. Yes. So... Too. There's a bit of a deforestation that needs to happen prior to us wearing shorts, so that will happen. It's winter, guys. Come on. Let me know in the comments below. You're not shaving them regularly in winter, are you? Also, our internet is down and has been down for well over an hour, so we yeah. may as well get Erica's legs shaved. <laughs> it's not a two-man no, job. No, no. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for following along today with our task. So we've got, what, 14 out of 17? Yeah. 
Pretty no, good. We're doing the shaved legs. It's okay, 15, 15 out of 17. I said we'd do 15. So there we go. Come back next week. We'll be on our way to Townsville. And we can't wait to show you.